Hello and welcome to Media Cafe Travel. Be sure to subscribe at the red button below or on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Today we're exploring Block 16 at the Cosmopolitan. We got to visit and stay at the Cosmopolitan very recently and we decided to sample the food at their food court called Block 16. Now Block 16 is a little bit different from most ordinary food courts and it is known as an urban food hall. It's got a lot of different foods and flavors from around the country and we're going to show you each vendor at the block 16 and we chose one item from each of the vendors to enjoy and we're going to show you that up close and personal so stay tuned The hottest ticket by far at Block 16 on this night was Tekka Bar. This bar specializes in hand-rolled sushi and sake. It takes its name inspiration from an ancient gambling spot in Japan almost 100 years ago, known as Tekaba, which translates to old gambling place. Uh, their rolls feature very fresh seafood like blue crab, yellowtail, and salmon, along with different selections of sake. The reason it's the hottest place is because you have actually a line in order to sit down in front of the sushi uh, chefs who are hand rolling and delivering the sushi right to you. So there is often a waiting list for Tekka Bar. Lardo is a concept from Portland chef Rick Gincarelli, and it features over-the-top sandwiches. A lot of the sandwiches incorporate pork into their over-the-top arrangements, and they're often paired with Lardo's signature dirty fries and, of course, a beer from their large selection of beers. Straight from New Orleans, Block 16 has brought District, which features donuts, sliders, and brew. The brew in this case is coffee and espresso. The sliders, they range from breakfast choices like biscuit sandwiches or even kulaches, which are pastries filled with sweet and savory ingredients, and their donuts are often unique concoctions like Bananas Foster or Pink Lemonade. And of course, their brews are all specialty coffees and espressos. Next is maybe the second most popular spot in Block 16, well, at least on this busy Saturday night, is Hattie B's Hot Chicken from Nashville, Tennessee. So as the name suggests, 
Hattie B's specializes in fried chicken that's hot. How hot? Well, there are several levels depending on how adventurous you want to get. There's southern, which is no spicing at all. There's mild. There's medium. There's hot. There's damn hot. And then it all culminates with shut the cluck up. So how hot do you like your chicken? Next up is Bang Bar by Momofuku, and this actually replaced the spot fairly recently, but as you may or may not know, Momofuku is actually at Cosmopolitan as well. In fact, it's on this same floor, not too far from this Bang Bar. So if you wanted to go to Momofuku, you could. Uh, Bang Bar actually offers some quick and easy flatbreads and other Asian-inspired treats, uh, kind of a fast food version of Momofuku. And it's got some inspired uh, cocktails as well. So uh, very cool stuff indeed.
So you see all the food items. They were all actually really good. The Bronx Bomber is a terrific sandwich. It's actually kind of like a cheesesteak. The, the chicken, I have to admit, we did not go hot. We stuck with very mild. Uh, the fries, though, at Hattie B's are very good. Here you can see sort of the end of the evening uh, when Block 16 was closing down. Uh, the unfortunate thing, we were not able to try any of the sushi because the sushi was sold out by the time we got there and found our table. Uh, they did not have any sushi. That's why we only were able to get sake from Tekka Bar. And, of course, the donuts. Uh, you have to get to the donuts pretty early as well because there was only one a specialty donut available, as you can see, that brown butter pistachio, which was pretty cool, actually. It was pretty tasty, uh, to be honest with you. But you see, it's a funky, it's a funky, funky food joint, food court. Uh, the ghost bar itself, you saw the line for that. Uh, that's also a fun spot with craft cocktails and the like. But all in all, uh, Black 16 is, is really cool. It feels like a party, actually, honestly. Um, so if you like the vibe, the party vibe of Cosmopolitan, this is the kind of food court you're, you're going to want to uh, take a look at. Lots of interesting choices, lots of really cool things to, to see and taste. Uh, but uh, again, uh, very fine selections of food and, and drinks at Block 16. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. We'll see you next time on Media Cafe Travel.